What is going on? Jason Parks of The Media Captain here. Going to walk through a PPC hack uh, on Google Ads that involves um, syncing your Google Analytics account and how, can, how you can use this information to uh, further leverage your PPC campaigns. Um, so I own a marketing agency, The Media Captain. My family has a uh, dermatologist-backed e-commerce skincare site, Derm Warehouse. I'm a big visual learner, so I like diving into actual accounts. Um, and today we are going to do, um, within Durham Warehouse, there's a brand that's a pretty good seller for us and it is called Alfion. Uh, niche products, so not a ton of volume, but a decent return on ad spend. Um, anyway, again, the whole purpose of this is to go over this analytics uh, hack that can help you generate a, a better ROI on Google AdWords. So what you're going to be looking for is a column that's average session duration. And that's right here, average session duration. And that's once you sync your analytics with your ad account, your Google ad account, it tells you how long people are staying uh, on your site from at a campaign level, at an ad group level, and at a keyword level, which is really neat. So in order to do this, you're gonna go into columns, modify columns, uh, Google Analytics, you're gonna make sure there's bounce rate and also percentage of new sessions. The one I like clicking is pages per session and average session duration, and you're then gonna apply that to your campaign, and it will pull in here. Now, the beauty of this is that uh, a lot of people pull the trigger too early on their Google PPC campaigns. They're not seeing conversions come in, so they just pause a keyword or they pause a campaign. And really, this is, before doing that, you should look at how long people are staying on your site um, from a particular campaign or keyword. So right here it's interesting. We have Google PPC versus Google Shopping. Um, and you can see Google Shopping has half of the average session duration as Google PPC. Well what's really interesting about that is when you look at a conversion rate percentage, it a lot of times when you pull this metric in on average session duration, it lines up pretty damn well to uh, conversion rate and average session duration. So you're seeing people are spending twice as long on the site for Alfion Eyelash Serum uh, PPC versus shopping and the conversion rate is more than two times that. Alright, well let's go into the actual campaign now. So you'll see that we have a broad match campaign and we also have a phrase match and broad match modifier campaign. Well the broad match is uh, less of an average session duration um, and again you can go in here and you can see less of a conversion rate percentage. Um, so I, I don't. A lot of times you might have trouble getting conversion tracking set up on your on your website, um, and if uh, that's the case, you can use this metric. Just pull in your analytics, and it will give you a good picture while you're working on uh, on, on getting that pulled in. So what I love doing is now I'm going to go into the actual keywords, and now you can see at a keyword level how long people are staying on your site. Uh, Alfion as exact match has people are staying on the site for 92 seconds which is pretty solid but for Alfion eyelash serum exact match they're staying on the site for um, almost twice as long and again you go over to conversion rate percentage conversion rate percentage is almost twice as high so that metric really correlates and it's really important to pull that in and the other thing that I did was that you can see that for the bid I actually went in for Alfion eyelash serum and I increased the bid so it um, has a higher bid than just Alfion since it's converting better um, that's it guys. I mean, it's a quick hack. It can really help uh, improve your PPC performance. So again, my name, Jason Parks with The Media Captain. Do me a favor, subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, info at themediacaptain.com. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for today.